what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having an amazing day today we are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive vgc double battles for pokemon brilliant diamond and pokemon shine and pearl in today's video we're going to be showcasing this eruption typhlosion team that also features drought nine tails and chlorophyll victory bell so if you guys are hyped make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button seriously you guys are absolutely amazing thank you so much for all the support that has been going on across the channel and also guys let me know in the comment section down below other pokemon you guys like to see me showcase in some competitive battles i would love to read your guys comments and potentially make a team around those comments but uh getting started with this team right here we're starting off with the one and only typhlosion we gave this thing the choice scarf because this thing needs its speed and this thing needs its speed because it is a fast pokemon with very very high special attack and it learns eruption so getting that first turn with this thing is going to be ridiculous and we can do massive amount of damage especially in the sun so paired up with nine tails is really really good move sets right here eruption burnout focus blast and extra sensory evs are going to be special attack and speed obviously with that flash fire ability next pokemon on the squad is going to be drought nine tails drought nine tails really pairs well with the typhlosion because like we just said it makes it do more damage and more importantly the victory bell because victory bell has chlorophyll ability which allows it to double its speed in the drought this thing has special attack speed uh, evs and then drought ability and then the move set of heat wave protect solar beam and will-o-wisp to burn those physical attackers i totally forgot about its item it is the focus ash so this thing can't be one tap can stay in the battle just a little bit longer next pokemon on the squad is going to be hariyama hold that flame orb and it has the guts ability we made this thing a little bit bulkier with the ev stats in hp but we still let it uh get its attack up so this can hit like an absolute truck Move set a fake out for fake out control, close combat for big stab damage, knock off to take off items, and protect for our final move. Next Pokemon is going to be another Sun Boy right here, and that is going to be Victory Bell, and I absolutely love this Pokemon. I think he is super, super good in this format, especially with the Sun. He has Sleep Powder, and plus he's probably going to outspeed everybody in the Sun, so he can put Pokemon to sleep. He has Sludge Bomb for stab, Weather Ball, which will change into a fire move in the drought and then solar beam which will hit in one turn and do massive stab damage for this pokemon its evs are going to be special attack and speed like i said chlorophyll ability and then the item we're having for this pokemon is going to be life orb to make it do even more damage next pokemon is fable we need a little bit of support here so i had to go with the clefable here great pokemon very bulky and really good at just like using follow me and control in the battle this thing has leftovers as its item and then here are the evs it's got full hp a little bit in special defense and then a little bit in defense just to make it nice and bulky unaware ability and then rocking out with the moveset of follow me moon blast calm mind and safeguard Final Pokemon on the squad is another great special attacker, and that is going to be Rotom Watch. She's here to kind of protect us from those uh, water Pokemon that are really going to try to ruin our Sun team. We got Hydro Pump, Thunderbolt, Nasty Plot, and Protect. Pretty normal moveset. EVs, we're making this thing bulky with defense, a little bit of speed, and a lot of HP. And finally, item for this guy is going to be a Citrus Berry, so when we fall below half, we can get some HP back. But guys, that's team preview. Let's hop into some battles to try to look to get some wins with this Typhlosion Sun team. We're hopping into our first battle for today's video, and man, does this code work better and better every single time I use it. We're using the code 2021-2022 to actually get double battles, and more people are starting to use it. So if you guys want to find some double battles, use this code. And if you guys want to find singles battles, I will also leave code in the description below. It is going to be 888 9 888 9 I was trying to like make sure it was the correct number in my head, but it's a little confusing. Codes will be down in the description below for doubles and singles battles. But uh, we're going up against a Heatran team over here. It also features Mamoswine, Tyranitar. Then he has Zapdos, Hitmontop, and Gardevoir. And I really want to lead Typhlosion. I might just go into Typhlosion here. I might just go into Typhlosion, and he might bring Tyranitar. He might bring Tyranitar, which is kind of scary. Tyranitar, not going to lie, is kind of scary. But do I want to, like, not lead Ninetales? What do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? What is the question? What, what's, the, what's the play here? I think we're just going to go for it. I think we're just going to go for it. Him on top is kind of scary. Him on top is a little scary. We do have that lovely little choice. And I could swap my... Uh, I could always swap my... Uh, my Typhlosion if need be. But we're going to go in with Victory Bell. Have our Sun Squad. And then final Pokemon. I just feel like Rotom does work here. I just feel like Rotom does a lot of work with his Hydro Pump. So we're going to lock him in here. And look to grab ourselves a win in battle number one. But hopefully... But he probably is going to lead that him on top. Because mm, cause just think, he could just fake me out and kind of go from there. But so our Heat Wave can do a ridiculous amount of damage. But the thing is, if he gets weather control with that Tyranitar and the Sandstream. So let's see who he leads. He goes Zapdos and Gardevoir. Okay, I'm actually very cool with that. I'm so cool with this. I'm so cool with this. And oh, is this thing going to get Flash Fire? Is this thing going to get Flash Fire? Does this thing have Trace on it? Please do not take my Flash Fire. I'd be very upset. Okay, cool does not so now we can just go into straight eruption and heat wave right straight eruption and heat wave i'm with it all day i'm with it all day 
Choice Specs is going to allow us to outspeed. Or not Choice Specs, Choice Scarf. So if he doesn't swap in the T-Tar, this is some big damage with the Eruption. So please, hopefully he didn't bring the T-Tar. Hopefully he didn't bring the T-Tar because I would love to showcase this in a video. I would love it. Come on, Typhlosion. Come on, Typhlosion. What you got, big dog? What's he going to do? What is he going to do? As long as he doesn't... He withdraws his Zapdos. Please don't be T-Tar. Please. It's going to be T-Tar. Oh, man. It's going to be T-Tar, but still, we can do some big damage here. We can definitely get some shots off here. Let's see how this one plays out here. Sandstream is going to pop. Drought is gone, so our damage is neglected a little bit. A good bit, actually. We're going to erupt here. Yeah, hey. Send this all the way over here and get off some lovely damage. Lovely damage. That would have did some big old damage on the guard board. That was the case. He's going to Psychic up on me, and that's going to do some damage onto Typhlosion. Typhlosion's pretty much in the dumps. I could swap him out, though. I could swap him out. I could do a double swap, but that's some great damage there. And Eruption should be able to just take out the... What's it called? Eruption should be able to take out Gardevoir, so I might as well go for it, because we do outspeed. So I'm going to go for an Eruption and just try to burn on the Tyrantar. I think that's 100% our play. Just stick with our Eruption. Don't swap out just yet, and then just will o -Wisp and look for the burn on this big, bulky Mon right here. But dude, if he didn't have T-Tar, that Eruption was going to do some big old damage. But I definitely want to get Ninetales out of here. Just for the sheer fact that is, uh, we can get the Drought rolling again. Which could be lovely. But Gardevoir goes down, which is huge. Ninetales should be able to outspeed Tyranitar. And we have our fingers crossed that this will o -Wisp connects. Do it, Ninetales. Love you. I love you. I love you. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice big old burn on this thing. And we're hoping. We're just hoping it's not Lumberry. Son of a biscuit, man. What you mean? He's Lumberry. You gotta be kidding me. Now sing D dances. So let's sing D dances. Uh, what do we do from here? Do I swap my tie? I think I'm gonna swap my tie flosion. I think I need to swap the tie. Because he's definitely gonna go for a rock move, right? Rock move's gotta poke. Double swap. Who's he gonna go into? That's the real question. Who's he going into? Probably back in his Zapdos, if I had to guess. I could double swap, or I could just throw a burn on that thing. No, oh, I want the heat. I want the trout, man. What's the player? And my top's gonna come out here, so he has fake out ready to roll. And this is a lovely little turn to swap. It's a lovely little turn to swap. Intimidate's gonna drop our attack. Ooh, this is just tough. This is just tough. And we are just gonna swap into Rotom. Rotom's a bit more defensive bulky. And I could just go for a will o -Wisp, or I could protect. I could protect this turn. And wait for Rotom to come out here, because Rotom can outspeed. Rotom can get a little bit of Hydro Pump going. Or who do I swap into here? Let's swap into Victory Bell. I'm going to want this Drought again. If I swap into Rotom, what's he going to go for? I mean, Rotom could soak it up. Rotom can really soak up whatever he has to offer. I'm kind of with... Oh, no. We already swapped into Rotom. Well, now we're going to go Victory Bell here. I'm kind of with the double swap here. Because obviously, he's going to fake out one of my Pokemon. We can get our Scarf back. We can outspeed later in the match. And we can take uh, Weather Control later on in the match as well. So, let's see how this one plays out. Because I honestly think he's going for a uh, a fake out on the Nine Tail slot alongside with the Rock Slide. Right? And she's going to Y Guard. Okay, yeah, that's lovely. That's lovely. That's a waste. So, we like that. And what's he going to go for here? Rock Slide. There's Rock Slide. And Rotom dodges that. Victory Bell. Soak this up. I need Victory Bell to soak. Yes, sir, Victory Bell. Yes, sir, Victory Bell. That's lovely. Uh, we could swap into... Do we think this thing has a first turn priority move? Again, I could swap into Nine Tails here. I could swap into Nine Tails, or I could just Hydro Pump. I'm gonna swap into Nine Tails, take the take the Weather back, and I could just drop a Solar Beam. Do I drop a Solar Beam, or do I put somebody to sleep? I think we have to outspeed this Tyranitar, so let's just go into here. Let's just do this. Hopefully, the Tyranitar is not protecting. So if he is, that's a little tough. But if that's the case, then we can just get straight back our uh, Typhlosion and switch our move. Maybe just go into a Focus Blast and potentially just take out that Tyranitar. But we'll see. Helping hands can come out here. Victory Bell, you should be able to outspeed this thing. Victory Bell, do him dirty here. Yes, sir, Victory Bell. Yes, sir. Good old swaps for us. This should be able to take him out. Big old stab with that life orb. Super effective. Get this thing on out of here. It's a solar beam. Nobody survives a super effective solar beam. It's just too good. It is just too good. So we take out his weather control. That's huge. That is huge. And Victory Bell drops down to 16. And he wastes a turn with helping hand. So now we have speed control. With my uh, lovely little victory belt. And I'm going to put this Zapdos to sleep. This thing's got to go to bed. This thing has got to go to bed. So we're going to drop a heat wave here. And then just put this thing to bed. Yo, solid first battle for us. Yo, solid first battle. 
Solid first battle so far. Is this thing going to protect the Zapdos? It does not. Sleep Powder comes through. Night, night, yo. Night, night, yo. We played great lead with our Typhlosion, and we played even better swaps in this game. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Heat Wave's going to fly. Sending it. Built big old damage in that drought. Big old damage in the drought. Zapdos is slumped, and then this thing is going to go for a nice, lovely close combat, which is totally fine. He takes him out. I'm just going to bring in Typhlosion to finish up this battle. Choice Scarf him up. Choice Scarf him up. Loving it. This thing's defense drops, and his special defense, so... It's over. It is all over with. It is all over with. I'm just going to roll out with my boy Typhlosion. I can Chewy Scarf into an extra sensory if I want, which I might do. Or I could use a Burn Up. I could use a Burn Up. What would I rather do? I know we outspeed a lot of these guys. I kind of want to use a Burn Up. Let's go Heat Wave alongside with... Uh, let's go Burn Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's use Burn Up here. Let's use Burn Up. See how much damage. This should be able to take out uh, Zapdos, right? In the sun. In the sun, baby. You got to love it. You got to love it. My top's gonna wide guard. Yeah, we ain't going for no eruption. Oh, well, but we are going for a heat wave. We are going for a heat wave, which is fine. Burn up's gonna come through here. Look at that move. Yo, look at that. Look at that move. We burned up. We're not fire type anymore, but hey, we take that all day. Wide guard's gonna block. We're totally chilling here. We burn ourselves out here. Heat wave's gonna get blocked by the wide guard. We are thriving. Now, can we use burn up? Like, will burn up not do as much damage as it does now? Is that how it works? I could actually drop a solar beam if I want to. But Heat Wave will do more damage. But we'll burn up. Can we use it again? Like, what's the, what happens here? We're just no longer Fire type? So it's not Stab anymore. Okay. Battle was canceled. There it is. First battle in the books. GG's. First battle went perfectly, but it's time to go back to back in our second battle here. Let's lock in our Typhlosion team yet again. I wish our Typhlosion could have used the eruption in the drought, but yo, it is what it is. We did play really well swaps there. Double swapping our Pokemon at a perfect time, getting them in, and then controlling the battle from there. And using Victory Belt in that drought to just dump on Tyranitar and put the Zapdos to sleep, which was really big power move. Really big power move was to go into that uh, Solar Beam. Because I was like kind of contradicting myself. I was like, should I go into the solar beam? Should I sleep out? I was just like, nah, yo, this Dragon Dance Titar has got to go. We ended up using Helping Hand, wasted a turn on his hit my top. And then my boy Victory Bell just came in with a giant beam to take it out. So that was an awesome battle. That was an awesome battle. But we're hopping into our second battle. And he has a little bit of a sun team here as well. He has the uh, Torkoal alongside with the Vile Plume. Vile Plume does learn Chlorophyll, so it could double its speed. But I do think Victory Bell has uh, faster speed. But he also has the Tyranitar just like the last opponent, which I don't like. Which I don't like one bit. I do not like that Tyranitar. And I might go in the Hariyama just to kind of counter up on that Tyranitar in battle number one here. But who do I think he might go with? Who do I think he's going to lead? We might not even want to bring, like, the Sun Squad. I kind of want to lead Hariyama here alongside with Rotom. Because I could fake out and potentially Nasty Pot, and then we'll have, like, a bulky little Sweeper kind of setup. And we could bring Clefable, who can be really, really nice here. Hmm. But do we think he's going to bring, like, Torkoal? If he brings Torkoal, I can kind of just fake it out and then close combat it the next turn. Which I like. I mean, Arcanine's a little scary, but it's Arcanine. Hmm. What should we do? How should I play this one? He does have Cresselia. Cresselia. But I'm kind of liking these three Pokemon here. I don't think we bring, like, the whole Sun Squad again. Because, again, he has Torkoal. He could set the Trick Room. And Trick Room's definitely scary. Trick Room is definitely scary. So, we're going to go into Clefable alongside with final Pokemon Victory Bell. I could lead Victory Bell with Hariyama. Fake out and put somebody to sleep. I mean, I feel like we just have to watch out for uh, that Vile Plume, if that's the case. We could bring Choice Scarf Pokemon. But, you know, we're just going to go Victor Bell because he does have Weather Ball. He has our Life Orb on. I really do like him here. I really do like him here. But let's hop into our second battle. Look to go back to back. Hopefully, this person is bringing four Pokemon. A lot of people have been bringing four Pokemon, so it's been really well for us. He's going to send out Cresselia and Arcanine. Okay. Okay. I see you. So, when Timmy is going to come out here, we can fake out. I think we just fake out and maybe just set up a plot. I think that's our play. Fake out set up a Nancy plot. Fake out the Cresselia. Just so Trick Room doesn't get off. Because I think this thing is going to try to go for a Trick Room here. And try to roll from there. And this thing can't like burn me or anything. So let's fake out you. And let's plot up. I feel like Arcanine is not going to stay in here. Arcanine might swap. He might protect. No, he just stays. So what's he going for? Maybe a Snarl? He's going to go for a Snarl. So he's just going to Snarl down on my Rotom. Which is totally fine. Because we are Nancy plotting up here. We are going to Nasty Plot, and more importantly, our Guts is going to trigger, so I kind of just go for a straight knockoff and double down to Cresselia this turn. Or I could just uh, Hydro Pump into Arcanine. So what's our play here? Knock off into Cresselia and maybe double down with Hydro Pump? Hmm. Hmm. What is our play? No, we might just T-Bolt into that. You could go for another Snarl and bring me down, but I think we just have to double down into Cresselia at this point. 
Right, hit this thing with a knockoff. Get some big guts damage going. And then do a Hydro Pump? No, we're just going to T-Bolt. I really don't want to risk the chance of Hydro Pump missing. So we're just going to do this this way. He is going to snarl me before we even get off a shot, which is fine. So we're just going to go down to even. Better than going minus two. And maybe we get a Paralyze. Maybe we can do something along those lines. But we will take off the item and maybe pick up some big damage. And maybe even a KO onto Cresselia. But I wouldn't be surprised if we don't because Cresselia is super, super bulky. It's just too bulky, right? It's just such a bulky Pokemon. But here comes my t ball Give me a Paralyze here. Give me a Paralyze here. Give me a Paralyze. Look how bulky that thing is. And he's just going straight for a Psychic. Can you eat this? You might be able to eat this. You're bulky. Yep, Hariyama bulks up. He eats it all day. And we are, more importantly, going to be able to go for a knockoff and chip off some huge damage. That's a big damage on the thing. We knock off its leftovers. I think that's big all around. That is big all around. Um, we could protect Hariyama here. Which could be our play. Protect Hariyama and just go for a straight Hydro Pump because he is going to Psychic into me again. Look for the KO. I'm just going to try to get rid of this, this little thingy over here. This Arcanine is kind of annoying me. <laughs> he's kind of annoying me, but he is going to Snarl again. We, we, know, we knew this was coming. This thing is just going to be pestering me with Snarls all day. And I am a huge special attacking team. I'm a huge special attacking team. But maybe this Hydro Pump can connect and we can pick up the KO. Of course it doesn't connect. He's going to go for a Psychic again. It's whack. This game's whack. I can't stand this game. Can't stand this game. Alright, yo, what's the plan here? What's the plan here, jeans? Hmm. Could swap. Could swap the Fable. Because he is going to go into Psychic again. And I could plot up. Or I can go for a Hydro Pump. What do I want to do? Let's just start nasty plotting. Let's just start plotting. Let's just start plotting, yo. We need this boy to be plotted up. We need him to be plotted up. We still have a Citrus Berry on him. So we're just going to play this one slow. We're just going to play this one slow. We hard swap. Snarl's going to roll through here. Oh my lord. I hate this guy. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play here and I'm just gonna snarl and then I'm gonna snarl again and then I'm gonna snarl again and then I'm gonna snarl. That's your fourth snarl, dude. That's your fourth snarl. Your fourth. Your fourth snarl. Psychic's gonna drop in through the cliff fable slot, alright? I was just gonna moon like, mm, you buttery biscuit. What you mean? I could just knock that thing off. I could have just killed it. I could have just killed it. I could have just killed it, but this thing that goes for the moonlight. And what do I do from here? Let's play from here. What is the play, Jeans? Calm mind setups. Could bulk up. Moonblast, follow me. And I'm just gonna go for another. I could go for another nasty plot here. I'm just gonna bulk up my squad. They don't really pose a big threat to me. Rotom dodge that. That's a huge dodge, Rotom. That's a huge dodge, Rotom. This Clefable outspeed. Let's see what let's see what Cresselia is going for. Is this thing going for its dang trick room yet? I thought it would be going for a trick room like a year ago. I honestly did. Let's see how this one plays out here. It goes for a psychic into Rotom. That's fine. Rotom soaks up. And then more importantly, our Citrus Berry will poke. And we're lovely little Citrus Berry will poke. And now I can just go for a straight follow me. Just so Psychic won't kill and a Hydro Pump to take out the Arcanine. Right? I'm kind of digging it. I'm digging it all day. So rough. This is so rough. Come on, baby. This is a good battle, though. It's a nice little start. He's trying to play stall here. But if I can land this Hydro Pump, we can pretty much have this Arcanine dead. We have this lovely little Arcanine dead. I think uh, we knocked off those leftovers on that thing. So follow me. He's going to poke. Let's just go straight for a Hydro Pump. Can we land this one this time? Second time's the charm. Follow me. He's going to poke. He's going to snarl, but we are still going to be plus one. If my math's correct. I hate how we can't check the stats here. And this thing goes for a close combat. Okay. I'm cool with that. <laughs> so he goes for a close combat and drops his defense. So, Hydra Pump, can you connect here? I need you here, Hydra Pump. Thank you, Hydra Pump. Okay, so Arcanine's dead, 100%. Get him out of my face. Get him gone. We don't like him here. So, Arcanine's dead. Hopefully, this thing's maybe going for a Psychic. Could be going for a Trick Room. Let's see what's doing. I'm, I've been waiting for a Trick Room. Nope, still Psychic, dude. That's easy soaks. That's easy soak ups for Fable. Easy soak up for Fable. So we're sitting here plus two, I think. Oh no, are we plus one? Yeah, we're, we're plus two. We're plus two because he didn't snarl that turn. He didn't snarl that turn. So Rotom's chilling here. Rotom's looking pretty good. We still have our victory bell in the back and we have Hariyama on low HP. His Rotom's gonna poke. And in this case, I think we just like, you know, follow me because we can soak up any shots that he really wants to offer. And we can just go into Thunderbolt and try to take out Rotom. Cresselia's just out on the field. And he's just going to withdraw Cresselia. That's cool with me. And he, who's he going to go into? He's going to go into whom? Tyranitar. I'm cool with Titar. I'm cool with Titar. 
Because again, we outspeed T-Tar, and I can hit that thing with a Hydro Pump. Follow um, me, he's going to poke. Is this thing going for a plot? It could be going for a plot, but this Thunderbolt should be able to do a decent amount of damage here. No, he's going for a Thunderbolt, yo. We love it. We love it, yo. Clefable soaks. Clefable soaks. Thunderbolt's going to poke here. Do a great chunk of damage. Great chunk of damage. And now, I'm just going to Moonblast into his Rotom. And more importantly, I'm going to try to drop a Hydro Pump onto this Tyranitar. Right? Or do we think he protects? No, there's no, there's no reason not to target down this Tyranitar here. I mean, I actually could. I actually could. I'm trying to think. I could protect and just go into a Moonblast and finish off the Rotom. But I think we have to just, you know, pose this big threat onto this thing. I know we have to. We do have Victory Bell in the back. It could be good. And he's just going to withdraw the Rotom. I'm cool with that all day. So that's a solid turn for us. That's a solid turn. He's going to swap back into Cresselia, which hopefully we get a special attack drop on this thing. Hydro Pump's going to connect. I think T-Tar might go down this. Right, let's see how this one plays. Mm, what you mean? We should have doubled down into it. We should have doubled down. Rockside's going to poke. That is going to take out Rotom all day. The Rotom goes down. We do have our lovely, lovely little, uh, what's it called? Oh, we flinched. Of course we flinched. Of course we flinched. We do have Hariyama, but I could just bring out Victory Bell here. Victory Bell could do work. Victory Bell could do work here. Hmm. How do I want to play this one? So we know he's going to go for a rock side. We know he is definitely going to go for a rock side. I could just go Victory Bell. And I could start poking or putting Pokemon to sleep. I think that might be our play. I think that might be our play. Put Cresselia to sleep. And then try to take out the Tyranitar. I'm with it. I'm with it all day. Let's do this. Let's do this. Sleep powder comes out. Yes, sir. Yo, we outspeeding. We outspeeding. I don't think he takes out my uh, victory bell, so I think I'm cool with just doing this. And now let's see what he does from here. He does have Rotom, but Rotom's kind of scary. I ain't gonna lie. Rotom's kind of scary. He goes for a rock slide, and that is going to take out Fable and do a good amount of damage to my victory bell. A great amount of damage to my victory bell. So we're coming down to a great battle here. This is a solid battle. Wish we did have Sun, but we do have Weather Ball. We do have Weather Ball. And we just have Rotom left. And we're down to these two. So I could fake out. I know we outspeed. I think at this point, we just go for a Sludge Bomb and a knockoff. I think that's 100% our play. Because there's no point of close combating. Let's go here. We outspeed, like I said. And does Sludge Bomb KO? Weather Ball might be better. Hmm. What do we want to do? No. Let's go Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb will do more damage. Because Weather Ball turns it into a rock, right? Weather Ball turns it into a rock. We're going to hope that there's Sludge Bomb KOs here. I think it, I think it should be able to. Sludge Bomb Pokes, do it. Do them dirty. Let's go, Victory Bell. Let's go, Victory Bell. That's a huge KO. That's a huge KO. Because now, all we need is what's called... Oh, we have to survive this Buffet here. We have to survive this Buffet. If we survive this Buffet, we could be chilling. Knock off Fly through. That's some big damage. That's some big damage. Buffet's Victory Bell. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Yes. Cool. Buffets are flying through and burns are flying through. Okay, so the problem here would be... The problem here would be if what's called protects. Oh my god. Oh my god. If Rotom protects, we lose. No way! I mean, we could fake out Rotom. So tough. Actually, can fake, fake out should be able to kill. Hold up. Fake out should be able to kill. But then again, if he, if he protects, he protects. If he protects, he protects. But I think I have to fake out this Rotom. But no, we outspeed him with Victory Bell. Victory Bell definitely outspeeds, I think. I could do this and then slide over a Sludge Bomb, but... Oh, no. No! This is whack. Or will Sandstorm end? Or will Sandstorm end? We're gonna go here. And actually, I don't know if Victory Bell outspeeds him. If he's timid, we might not outspeed him. So, Fake Out's gonna be your play. Fake Out will kill this thing. But we'll Sludge Bomb kill that thing. Oh no, we gotta go here. We gotta do what, what we what we originally went through. We're gonna go here, and we're gonna trust our boy to outspeed this Rotom. Let's go, Victory Bell. Don't protect. Don't protect. He doesn't outspeed. Yo, we should have faked him out. We should have faked him out. We lost. No. We should have faked him out. We should have faked him out. He was probably timid. Timer got to my head, man. Dude, if we fake him out, we win. If we fake him out, we win, I think. 
the sludge bomb had a chance of taking out that Cresselia, even though it's super super bulky but hey yo second battle was phenomenal ggs we're now sitting at 101 let's grab ourselves a winner record for today's video Hopping into our third and final battle, and that last battle came down to the wire. It came down to the wire. I wish I would have faked out, but the reason I didn't is because I didn't think that Victory Bell could do enough damage to kill that bulky Cresselia, but it is what it is. Let me know if you guys think it would have killed, but we're hopping into our third and final battle. Looking for that winning record for today's video. Going up against a Pelipper, Kingdra, Swift Swim Rain team, alongside with Rotom, Mo, uh... Arcanine, Garchomp, and Scizor. I really do think he's going to bring the Rain Squad alongside with, uh... Garchomp and Arcanine. I just don't see him bringing the Mo and the what's it called. I don't see him bringing the the Mo and the uh, the Scizor. I really don't see that. But I'm gonna lead Typhlosion and Ninetales. Bring Ninetales in the back end because I do not want him leading Pelipper and just uh, gaining that uh, weather. So I'd rather have it in the back end and be able to insta swap and then set the weather. And then final Pokemon, I'm gonna go Victory Bell. I'm gonna go Victory Bell here. I think we should be fine. I think we should be chilling with this squad. Let's hop into our first battle. Or not first battle, third battle, and look for that winning record. Well, let's see what he's gonna go into. He's gonna lead the Pelipper. He's gonna send out Kingdra and Scissor. So he's kind of thinking like the same thing as me. He's kind of thinking the same thing as me. I could just choose Scarf. Uh, do I hard swap? Do I hard swap is a real question. I don't think I hard swap. I think I just fake out Kingdra and I go into an eruption. I think that's the play. Fake out the Kingdra and go into an eruption. Hopefully he swaps then. We can maybe force a swap out for him and kind of do what he wants. No, we're just going to protect the Kingdra, so that's cool. So if Scissor doesn't protect here, we can get some big old damage on this thing. And Scissor's going to also protect. So, again, do I go for an eruption or do I swap? What's the play? What's the play? I could... I mean, eruption does sound nice, doesn't it? Eruption does sound nice. But again, I don't want to swap. I do not want to swap. Hmm. Because what's he going to do? Gain Swift Swim Control? Hmm. And then go into Water Move into my Typhlosion? Could definitely be the play. Could definitely be the play. He knows I'm going for an Eruption, so he's definitely swapping, right? So he's definitely swapping. I could honestly just swap into Victory Bell here, save my Typhlosion for the back end, and then try to take out this Kingdra with a, with a close combat. Right? That's gotta be the play for him. He knows I'm eruptioning. So, like, his only really way out here is to swap. So, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say Typhlosion and get back here. I do not want to risk my Typhlosion going down. So, we're just gonna swap Typhlosion right off the rip here and see what he does from here. Let's see what his play is. He withdraws his Yeah. Okay. So, we're making that nice little read here. I didn't want to swap into uh, Ninetales because I think Drought would have came out first and then Pelipper would have actually sent the drizzle. So, I think our play is gonna work fine here. I think he's gonna go for the water move into my Victory Bell. Right? Hydro Pump. Should be able. Can we suck that up? We're going into Hariyama. Ooh, we don't like that. Going into Hariyama. Ouch, man. What you mean? This is my boy Hariyama. Oh, that's rough. Ninetales gonna have to come out here, and I could just put the. Uh, I could just put the Kingdra to sleep, but yo, I can't believe he went into Hariyama there. I cannot believe he went into Hariyama. Cannot believe that. Cannot believe that. That's a little rough. That's a little rough, but. We're kind of sitting here. We could just drop a solar beam. I could put Pokemon to sleep, but I think we're going to go here and maybe just protect Ninetales. I mean, water's really not going to do a lot, so we could start throwing burns. We could double down on solar beam. Which, I mean, he's giving me no reason really not to. Like, what's he going to do? Swap it to Scizor? Hmm. What do I do? Maybe I just go into a... Maybe I just go into a Sludge Bomb. Maybe he could swap into the Scizor. I'm just going to do this and go into a Heat Wave, just in case he swaps the Scissor. Just in case he swaps back into Scissor here. Yeah, Pelipper's going get to the, get the Withdrawal. Is he going to go back into Scissor? Let's see. He's going to send out Rotom. Rotom Moe is going to poke here. And we do have Heat Wave rolling, so that's pretty good for us. And Kingdra's just going to protect. I'm cool with that turn. I'm really cool with that turn. We have our Victory Bell really thriving here. And he's just, he's just feeling good. So we might go back into Pelipper here. Heat Wave's going to fly here. It's got to connect on this Rotom. That could be big. And I think I'm going to swap at this point. I think I'm just going to swap my Ninetales. We do dump on that Rotom, which is huge, which is huge. And do we think that thing might be rocking Ice Beam? Kingdra could be, could be poking with Ice Beam, which could be scary. So I think we might have to swap it to our Typhlosion here. Hmm. That Scissor. I don't like that Scissor. I don't like that Scissor. Scissor might swap. If Scissor swaps, we could just put this... I'd say we put the Kingdra to sleep and we just go into a Heat Wave, right? Right... I'm with it all day. 
I'm with this play all day. Let's see how he plays this one. He's going to withdraw the scissor. Let's just scissor withdraw, and he's going to go, hopefully, maybe into a Hydro Pump into an items because we are stashed. We are stashed, and at that point, then I can swap out and kind of just start to take this uh, weather control thing. And we do have Typhlosion with the Choice Scarf in the back. He's just going to go for a Skull. That's fine. Like I said, we are sashed. We are sashed, so that's a big sash. That's a big sash here. Sleep Powder is going to poke. And I think Victory Bell does outspeed. I actually hope it does. But I do not want to put a burn on the Kingdra. Hey, yo, I swear, if this burns the Kingdra, I'm going to cry a little bit. Do not burn the Kingdra. Do not burn the Kingdra. Cool, cool. Sleep Powder is going to poke here. And it connects. Beautiful. Put this thing to sleep. I'm liking where we're sitting. All right, so at this point... um. Do we need weather? I kind of, I kind of think we might need weather here. So we could swap the Typhlosion. Do we think he's gonna go for a water move into me? I mean, what's called does out speed? I oh, know we want to swap the Nine Tails. We want to swap the Nine Tails. At this point, I could just go for a Sludge Bomb. We could swap Pelipper again, but I'm, I'm going to target down a Pelipper, and I'm just going to swap into my Typhlosion here. I'm gonna swap into my Typhlosion here. Could be going for Scald. I don't know. We'll see. But I can definitely just Solar Beam next turn. King just going to be slumped. Victory Bell is going to go next. And hopefully we can do a good chunk of damage here. Maybe even KO this Pelipper here. Paloops, eat this Sludge Bomb. Poison him. Poison him, please. He's going to go for a Hurricane. He could. He does go for a Hurricane. That's going to take me out. And I'm actually liking where we're sitting here. I'm really liking where we're sitting here. I'm loving where we're sitting here. Because Ninetale comes out. I know we outspeed everybody except for the Kingdra. So at this point, I drop a Solar Beam into the uh, the Kingdra, and I just erupt because Eruption should be able to take out Pelipper. I'm with it all day. Yeah, yo, Solar Beam here, and then Choice Scarf into an Eruption. We're going to Choice Scarf into Eruption. Oh, yes, his Scissor left. I'm kind of liking this. I'm kind of liking this. Let's see what he's going to do from here. Because again, Typhlosion's going to be the fast here. He might swap Pelipper, but if he swaps Pelipper, then we're doing some big damage onto... We, we are going to pick up double KO. It's going to turn into a 2v1. So it's up to him what he wants to do. It is really up to him. We just need this Kingdra to be slumped another turn. But Ninetales might be able to outspeed it. Eruption pokes here. So we're going to say bye-bye to Paloops. Paloops is gone. And we do a good chunk of damage to that Kingdra. A great chunk of damage to that Kingdra. And Ninetales should be faster than Kingdra. Bringing out the Solar Beam. And Solar Beam should be able to pick up the easy KO. Right? Come on, Solar Beam. Come on, Solar Beam. And then we should be able to outspeed Scissor. And just drop another eruption. So Typhoid might be coming in clutch in the back end here. Let's see. Solar Beam pokes. Kingdra, get on out my face. So we played this one super, super well. We had our Typhlosion in there early, and I was just thinking, I was just like, yo, we gotta win this weather war. Typhlosion's gotta come out now. So we ended up swapping out Typhlosion and bringing him in the back end, which worked out perfectly. Planned it out in my head. I was just like, yo, we're gonna maybe need this Typhlosion in the back end. Because if I would have kept him in the beginning, it wouldn't have worked well at all. It wouldn't have worked well at all. We were definitely going to lose because he was going to swap into that weather and just get rid of my Typhlosion. But battle was canceled. GG's. That is the power of Typhlosion. Great set of battles for today's video. Ended up going 2-1 and one and grabbing ourselves that winning record. We got to show off the power of Typhlosion in battle number 1 and battle number 2. And got to show off Victory Bell to his fullest potential as well. Victory Bell really surprised me. It's super powerful in the sun and just works out all around. It can put Pokemon to sleep. It can do big damage. It outspeeds everything. It is just crazy all around. Ninetales really pairs well with this team. Because, you know, it sets that drought. And then we had the Hariyama, Clefable, and Rotom. as three other Pokemon who really fit well with this squad. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positive every day and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody